dead. Oh, did we interrupt? No, you're fine. I'm just practicing. It's like weird, but... What's up, guys? Coach Ms. Patino here coming at you from Washington High School, my stomping grounds, where I inspire lovers of math on the daily. Maybe not so much, but I try really hard, I promise. Anyway, what I want to do here today is take a moment to drop some knowledge on something that I feel has been critical in my development physically and actually a little bit more too mentally. And what the topic is today is mobility. Now, if I ask most people what mobility is, I know as a high school student, I didn't quite understand what it was. And it wasn't actually until recently, as I've referred to in the past two years ago, where I started to explore with that concept and how I could use it to benefit my training. So essentially, uh, what mobility is, is our ability to express and move our joints in a free, almost natural-like position that doesn't have this like stiffness to it. And to connect that to my next physical goal, which is dancing, that's a really critical, very crucial part. When you dance and you're stiff, you know, like you got those bachata hips, they're like, you don't want that. You want mobility in the hips. Your hip flexors need to be open and you have to be able to express yourself through your body as well as through your mind. So mobility, uh, I want you to think about that in the sense of not just dance, but just movement in general. Uh, so I wanna take this into my first point, which is real life can hurt, right? Most of us have a job in which we're sitting for a long period of time and that's not good for us. Not that sitting is bad, sitting for too long is bad. So what ends up happening ends up happening is circulation starts to kind of shut down, our bodies start to get really stiff, and all of a sudden we're doing things to our body that are very unnatural, right? We are designed to move. I'm stuck. All right, we're designed to move, so that's what we want to do. Life can hurt, mobility and mobility type exercises are going to change that. Secondly, Mobility is not flexibility. So when I say flexibility and mobility, a lot of people like to kind of categorize those into the same things. And in some ways they are related, others not so much. Flexibility is our ability to jump into a position and hold that position for quite some time. So here, maybe I'll go into a yoga pose called Warrior Two, and I'll just hold, I'll focus on the hips, pressing them forward and just kind of coming out there. Mobility is more the ability to flow in and out of those movement patterns, maybe switching it into the other side, dropping a little lower, shifting the hips back, pulling forward. My hips actually just cracked there, got a really good release. Now, to be continued. Moving on to the next topic, guys. Mobility prevents or minimizes injury. I like to use the word minimizes because prevents, well, you can't ever really truly prevent something from happening. I mean, things happen unexpectedly. So to say you can prevent something really isn't all as realistic as I say minimizes. So you reduce the risk of injury. What that basically comes down to is the more mobile you are, the more fluids you have coming in and out of your joints, the more support you have, so that when you're going in and out of movements, you reduce that risk of doing something crazy where you're gonna snap. It basically allows us to use different movement patterns and work in different planes. So one of the things students always ask me, the most popular question, as you guys know, for a high school student is, Mr. Patino, how much do you bench? And to be honest, I can say, well, what do you want? One rep max, um, five by fives, so you want hypertrophy. Uh, there's a lot of different directions that can go. However, what I can say is, can you do that? And not to say everybody can do that, but uh, it's one of those things that I've had to develop because ultimately my goal is not to show off how strong I am but to come in with energy and show that my mobility is not limited. So if I have to do certain things and use certain movement patterns throughout the day, whether again, it's in the move, whether it's in the classroom or whether it's outside somewhere else, uh, 
I like to use that to my advantage so that I can dance and do things like that. And move on to the next topic here, better muscular development. And this one's very logical, right? When I get deeper into my motion, then I inhibit and I increase and I'm able to fire up more muscles. For example, squatting like this, nothing, right? Very limited mobility. Maybe somebody can do a squat to that depth because they have a lot of tightness in their knees or hips. Whereas if I'm gonna drop all the way into a squat and then come back up, I'm using more of my core, I'm using more of my hamstrings, my glutes, and more muscles are engaged all the way down to my feet. So I can drive up and increase my muscular development and even that size. And then we have pain relief. Okay, so pain relief, basically pain comes when we get, get or develop some stiffness in our body. It's a signal to the brain that something isn't functioning correctly. When we develop mobility, we are able to work in and out of these patterns and reduce pain because we increase the circulation to those areas. Next and lastly, mobility is cheap. I mean, uh, you can go to YouTube and not in this video, I won't go over certain workouts, but maybe in the future, you can go on YouTube and find different mobility stretches, different mobility workouts that you can do at home so that you can develop that mobility and increase your health. And in some cases, uh, it's free. It's not on here, but mobility has increased my creativity in the way I move. Now, as I've said before, I'm not by any means a professional dancer. It's not something that I've ever been comfortable doing, but the more that my range of motion increases, I more freely, effectively, efficiently express my body in the way I move through dance. Now, again, there are still some things I'm working on, but that's all in the development process. There are things that I'm still wanting to do. For example, break dancing very explosively is not something I'm able to do just yet, but I, I trust that this mobility, uh, the, the increase in mobility is going to change that. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Starts off with me just expressing myself through dance the best way I know how, trying to feel the rhythm and hit some of the beats. Um, so enjoy. Staring at you, trying to figure how you got them jeans. If I was down, would you say things to make me smile? I treat you how you want to be treated, just teach me how. If I was with some other chick or someone happened to see, would you believe me or up and leave me? How deep is I wrong if that's all it takes for you to be gone? We only humans, girl, we make mistakes. To make it up, I do whatever it takes. I love you like a fat kid, love cake. You know my style, I say anything to make you smile. So it was early morning, thought we better be leaving. So I 
us together. myself into dance and if it's one thing I need it's mobility so for that I go to my guy Johnny here he's gonna walk us through some of his movement patterns so the purpose of this video is not to ask you to do the mobility workout with us but just to expose you to the idea of what it is how I use it, when I use it, and why I use it. So here you'll see Johnny leading me in and out of poses like lunges and runner's lunges. I want to make sure I move into these positions slowly, freely, and easily back into neutral. I like to do these in the morning before I swim, work out, or dance because after a night of sleep and stress from the previous day, my body needs to relax into certain positions so that it's loose and fluid. So if you notice, Johnny and I are coming in and out of these positions at a different pace and from different angles. This has to do with several things. For one, not all of our bodies are structured the same. So a mobility workout that might feel comfortable for me might not feel comfortable for you or somebody else. Another thing is where we're at in our progressions. Some of these movement patterns that Johnny's leading me through I'm comfortable with because I myself have tried them or he's led me through them before. So don't expect to just come into some of these positions and do them comfortably. You'll notice there it took me slightly longer and I wasn't as fluid. In and out of the poses, I'm trying to respond to his pace, but I'm okay with the fact that I didn't do it the way he did it. Here I use my hands and he didn't. So I'm going to speed up the video here because most importantly, I simply want you to be introduced to the concept of mobility and look into doing some research for yourself. Later on, I'll be posting some videos of some of the workouts and giving some more details on how to progress into some of them. But uh, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that it opened your mind up because I know it's definitely something that I wish I would have known when I was younger. So questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, John. Yo, guys, if it's one thing that gives me energy, it's the ability to move, keep myself going. So I encourage you guys to follow my guy, Johnny, here on Instagram. Hit him up, the fit sick. Check out the link below. Stay up. We out. Too hard. Make 
gentlemen.